Les Palières. Les Palières. What a great name. Daniel Brunier, or actually the Brunier family, and Kermit Lynch, who is the importer for the Brunier family's famous View Telegraph, Chateau Neuf du Pop, uh, they're no dummies. They know the Rhone Valley like anybody. Like, my gosh, these guys are down. So when the opportunity in the late 90s came up to buy this, this, this treasured Gigonas estate located in this particular terroir called Les Palières, uh, they jumped at it. And it is really great to see because this estate's been producing wine consistently, I think, since like, um, like the 1600s or something. And it was doing pretty good wines, uh, you know, in the, you know, in the mid-90s, late-90s. But what these guys have done, what the Bruniers and Kermit Lynch have done together for this wine is nothing short of astounding. And now what we get is actually one of the greatest, finest, on-point Gigondas wines I can remember tasting. Here's the knock with Gigondas. It's, um, sometimes it can be a bit furry, right? You know, like Chateauneuf is all like, yummy, creamy, kirschy, you love me. And Gigondas can be a little more, mm, you know, it tastes more like, Gar, you know, the Dantels de Montmirail, the little more elevation. The Gigondas can be more structured. Um, the wines are more rustic, you know, throw open the barn doors, snowing outside, drink Gigondas type wines. What, uh, what Kermit and the Bruniers have done has kind of refined Gigondas, and they did this by exactly what they're doing here, utilizing these higher elevation vineyards. The vines are old, 45 to 65 years old, but not like 100 years old, you know, like you hear with all these other cuvées. But uh, the combination of, of, of diligent grape growing, fine winemaking, picking at the right time, has created this almost like this Burgundian experience in Gigondas. And what we saw with this wine on our last tasting is the fact that after about 25, 30 minutes in the canter, you get this, you know, type thing where the wine really detonates and you get this fineness, but you also get the richness of fruit that's associated with the warm, fiery wines from the Southern Rhone, all in this just elegant package. So don't let the um, creepy dude with the rhinoceros thing scare you. The wine's actually really good, even though this is like the, the devil's terrace. Uh, there's nothing devilish about this wine.